welcome to day 14 of Vlogmas. Um, it's about half past three in the afternoon and I have recorded nothing today. We have had a very chilled out, very quiet day. Although I say chilled out, it hasn't been particularly chilled. But we have had a day where we've done very, very little. Tom has spent the day doing various little prep bits for Christmas. He's been making um, sausage rolls to stick in the freezer and kind of things like that. But I didn't, I didn't film it today. Um, Arthur has needed a lot of attention. I think he's a bit nervous about going back to school tomorrow. Um, I think he is, yeah, a bit anxious about it all, which is fair enough. He's been off for a month. I can completely understand that. Um, and then he managed to slip over this afternoon uh, at the bottom of the stairs. He slipped over at the bottom of the stairs and we have got a bread machine sitting at the bottom of the stairs waiting to be taken up into the attic. And he managed to hit his cheek just here on the bread machine and he's given himself a rotten bruise and he doesn't cope with pain well so we ended up with 45 minutes of just inconsolable tears snuggled up on the sofa um i think it's all right he hasn't broken the skin well he's grazed it slightly but there's no blood or anything and it's just going to come up in a bit of a black eye but it doesn't seem to be causing him any pain around the area so it's nothing to be concerned about but yeah and jasper's just been a four-year-old <laughs> running around causing chaos um anyway i am in the car as you can see i've just popped to sainsbury's despite the fact that we went to the supermarket and collected our food shopping yesterday there's always something that we forget always every time um so i have come to get a few of those bits and pieces that we have forgotten it is absolutely pouring it down with rain i don't know if you can hear it but it is it is really unpleasant um, but I'm going to go home now and I was thinking that for today's video what I am going to do is I am going to sit down and talk about my plans for 2021 sock knitting because I have had an idea of what I'm going to do. Um, so I've set my studio light up in the office. I'm going to podcast tomorrow anyway so I thought I might as well get it out today. It will be all set up and ready to go and then I can get a bit of decent lighting this afternoon and sit down and talk about my sock knitting plans but I need to get home first. So I have been delving through my box of sock yarn, this one here, um, and I've dug out a number of skeins of yarn. Um, and I thought I would talk about my plans for sock knitting in 2021. Normally I do a make nine and I never complete it. Um, if you don't know what make nine is, basically it started out a few years ago now as an Instagram kind of challenge where you pick nine, things that you'd like to create, um, in my case knit, and um, you try and do them within the year. I've done it three years in a row and I've never completed my grid of Make Nine. So I thought I wanted to do something a little bit simpler this year and I, when I mentioned it on the podcast, when I mentioned doing Make Nine, um, somebody mentioned that what they do is they pull out, and I've forgotten how many they said they pulled out, but they said that what they do is at the beginning of each year they pull out a certain number of skeins from their stash to knit socks from and that's going to be the socks that they'll knit throughout the year and I thought that was a really good idea um because I've got quite a nice stash of yarn um and there's some skeins that have been sitting there for ages that I really do want to knit up but then I get distracted by all the new shiny things or I start making samples for the shop and yeah those skeins just never get knit up so I thought what I would do this year is that I would pull out a certain number of skeins of yarn and I was debating over how many I should pull out um, and I've decided, if I, um, I haven't decided, I think it needs to be either five or six. I don't want to do, I can't do 12. Um, I knit six, no I didn't, I knit 10 pairs of socks this year. Um, so that's quite a, you know, that's that's an achievable number to think about for next year as well. But I want to give myself a little bit of flexibility so if I do get distracted by the nice shiny new yarn or I need to knit up a sample or something like that I've got leeway as well as having those um, skeins set aside. So what I've done I think, well what I'm going to do, I haven't done it yet, I'm going to do it with you, um, is I think I'm going to pick out five skeins and maybe a sixth as a kind of just in case skein possibly. So let's have a little look. At the moment, on this thing next to me, I've got quite a few. So we need to narrow this down to five or six skeins. <laughs> so 
there's quite a few Christmas things on here and I can't quite decide whether I wanted to be knitting Christmas socks. I mean, I always find knitting Christmas socks in January is actually quite fun because you're still kind of lamenting the loss of Christmas, if that makes sense. <laughs> so, you know, Christmas has been and gone and it's that slightly dreary, dull kind of January feeling. And actually looking back at Christmas and thinking about Christmas and the fact that we've enjoyed Christmas can be quite uplifting in January. Does anyone else find that or is it just me? Also, am I really low in this camera? Let me tilt you forward a little bit. Let's try that. That's a bit better. I feel like I'm moving my arms and gesturing and it's all done below the camera and it looks really, really, really weird. Okay. So let's dig up the Christmas skeins to start with and maybe that could be a January cast on. So I have got um, this skein here, which is called Faded Christmas and it's from Erin at Henny Penny Makes. Um, it's really, really pretty. It's going to knit up beautifully for socks as well. So that's a possibility. Then I've got a couple that I got in a D stash from a lovely friend. So this is Nora George Yarns and this is the Snowman colourway. Um, so that's definitely a potential. That would be nice in some kind of lacy socks, wouldn't it? And then I've also got this one, which I got from the same D stash. And this is by Stranded Dye Works. And this is Vintage Christmas. So again, lacy socks potentially with that one. I think these would need a textured sock. Need to think about patterns. Um, so they are three Christmas ones. I think they're the only, oh no, I've got one more Christmas one. I've also got this little sock set from London House Yarns and this is Christmas at Grimald Place. Um, I got a small sock set, so it's 50 grams, whoops. <laughs> it's 50 grams of the main color. And then you get a 20 gram mini as well for heels and toes and cuffs and things like that. Um, so that's definitely another Christmas potential. So we kind of need to pick one of these. Um, and I really can't decide which one, to be honest. I'm still not sure. I've got three self-striping potentials. So I think I might save this one and do that at another time, because I kind of really want to knit up this self-striping. This is, again, have I talked about Debbie yet? No, this is from Debbie at Down Sheepy Lane. Um, have I got her label upside down there? I have, there we go. Um, this is from Debbie at Down Sheepy Lane, and this is Toss a Coin, um, and it's a Witcher-inspired colourway from the, um, well, from the Netflix TV series, or if, like Tom and I, you came to the computer game first, it's also inspired by the computer game. But um, yeah, that I think that is the self-striping that is going to be in the list of skeins to knit this year. So I'm going to put that on the table. There we go. Right. So that leaves us with three Christmas colourways to knit up this year. And I think that one is the one that is exciting me most. And it is the most colourful and cheerful and will brighten up my January. So we have two skeins picked out. Now we just have to narrow down this lot. Um... Right, I'm going to stick with one self-striping and I've chosen the one from Debbie at Down Sheepy Lane. But I do have this fabulous um, set from Fab, Fan, Fab, bleh, Fab Funky Fibres. Um, and this is her Another Planet self-striping. It's gorgeous, isn't it? I got this one um, as part of a kind of swap um, at a swap table at um, the Socks on the Beach retreat that I went to. Right, so now we're still getting there. Actually, this one as well, this is a self-striping. This is a subtle self-striping from um, Erin at Henny Penny Makes. Um, and you get two rows, one with a semi-solid and one with a variegated in the purple. So I'm gonna pop that one aside as well because let's just stick with one self-striping. Okay, so then there's a couple of skeins. This skein has been in my stash for absolutely ages. I got it as a gift as part of a swap um, I can't remember the name of the thing, you know, that the swap, big, big worldwide swap thing that goes, that goes ahead. Um, it's by Moods of Colour, who I believe, actually I'm not 100% sure, are they a Swedish company or Norway or some kind of Scandinavian yarn company? I think, I'm not 100% sure on that. It's called Blooming Pacific Moods um, and it's absolutely gorgeous, but it has been in my stash for so long and I love the colours. That is going in the list the pile, the list, whatever you want to call it. 
Right, so we're getting there, we're getting there. We've narrowed it down to eight skeins. Um, right, I've got this gorgeous skein from Bryony at Spectrum Fibres. This is Love Hearts, and this was part of her Neon Yarn Club. I didn't subscribe to the whole year, but I did pick up a couple of months throughout the year, and I absolutely loved the ones I picked up. But this is so gorgeous, I'm not sure I can put this on my feet. I feel like this needs to go in some kind of shawl or scarf or something like that. So that's an easy decision. Right, and then what else have I got? We've got um, a couple of slightly similar, well, a similar style colourways, I would say, these two. So this one is from Tracy at Nora George Yarns. This is Horcrux, um, and it's just kind of like an undyed base with some really bright speckles, um, and it's really, really pretty. And then this one is from Hannah at Corner of Craft or Chromatic Yarns. Um, and this is her Operation Social Justice colourway, um, Insert Class Here, it's called. And it's just really fun and really pretty. Um, but it's a difficult decision to make, isn't it? Because they are quite similar in the kind of colour scheme. Let's see. I've not knit with any of Hannah's yarn yet. So I think that might be a potential then. We'll, we'll rule out the Nora George one just because I've knit with her yarn before. Um, so... Going with that kind of style of things, what have I got left? We've got some, we've got this pretty skein from Felt Fusion. This was part of the um, Flower Power Fund. I can't remember what year, maybe like the first year it ran, I think. And this is the Sweet Pea colourway. It's a really beautiful, subtle, speckled colourway. Really beautiful. And again, I feel like this should be in a shawl or something. And I've just not found the right pattern for it. Um, which is why it's been in my stash for so long, but I feel like it's so delicate that it would be better in a shawl with a big contrast colour. So I think, again, we're going to rule that out. So how many have we got so far? We've got three, plus this one is a fourth potential, and we've got four left on here. Now, I definitely want to knit this one into socks. Definitely. I fell in love with this colourway when I purchased it. This is from, Fru from Ishrat at... I cannot say your yarn company at Fruitful Fusion. I have to say it in a really posh voice to not get all stumbly over it. <laughs> From Ishrat at Fruitful Fusion. And this is her Sara colourway. Absolutely beautiful colourway. So this is definitely going in the pile because I have wanted to knit this up since I got it and I just haven't got round to it. Um, okay. I am rushing now because I don't want to talk for too long because this still needs to be a vlog length vlog and not a podcast. But we are down to three colourways and we have got four definites in our pile. So this one I received last Christmas, I think. It was in my box, um, my swap package as part of the Lay Family Yarn Swap. And this is from um, Strawberry Fields Yarn. And I used to live very near Lizzie. We used to go to the same knit group. Um, and this colourway is Gingham Altar. It's really pretty, isn't it? It's absolutely beautiful. And again, it's one of those colourways that I've been itching to knit up and it's just been sitting there waiting. So I'm very, very tempted for that to be our number maybe six. <laughs> and then I've got two others which are also beautiful. This is Ambrosia Salad by Down Sheepy Lane. Um, this was part of her Tim Burton Yarn Club and it is so fun. I kind of want to knit it up as like Halloween socks. I think that would be perfect colours for Halloween socks. Um, and then I've got this one here from Kelly at Lay Family Yarn. I don't have a colourway name or any information on this one unless it's inside. No. Um, this came with the mystery gem from Gem of the Little Grey Girl, um, but yeah, I haven't got a yarn label on it, so I'm not 100% sure of the colourway, but I do know that the yarn base is, now I'm going to get the mixes wrong, but I'm not 100% sure of the percentages, but it's a mohair, it's a, it's a merino mohair and nylon blend, um, so really, really interesting, but I think that one might sit aside for a little bit. And I think this one might sit aside for a little bit. And I think we've got our six. So I think the six that I'm going to set aside to knit up in 2021 are these six here. So we've got the beautiful skein of Sara. I don't quite know how to pronounce that. From Fruitful, from Fruitful Fusion. We have got this lovely skein of Blooming Pacific Moods from Moods of Colour. 
we have got the self-striping um, witcher inspired self-striping from debbie at down sheepy lane we have got the faded christmas from erin at henny penny makes we have got the Operation Social Justice Insert Class Here colourway from Hannah at the Corner of Craft. And finally, we have got the Gingham Altar colourway from Lizzie at Strawberry Fields Yarn. I think that is a good six to set aside and plan out for next year. It's a nice mix of colours. There's six different dyers. Yeah, that's the plan. It's time for the day of the day! <laughs> <laughs> what did the other snowman say to the snowman? I don't know. What did one snowman say to the other snowman? Can you smell carrots? <laughs> <laughs>